Volt Academy. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how the Volt Academy template works. We'll get started by clicking on it and we'll directly be on the Vault Academy page. It's a template that's going to allow you to create an online course platform in a very simple way. The idea is that we will have a page like this with categories in which we will have episodes or videos that we can watch. What's the most interesting is that once we've watched a video, we can click on a finish button that adds a small V which allows us to know which videos we've already seen. We'll copy the template and I'll show you exactly how it works. When we arrive in the template, you can already see a few different structures. We already have Airtable nodes because the data is stored on Airtable. We also have a category node to retrieve the categories. We have all of their episodes. We have a user database that allows us to have the list of all of the users so that when we log in, we can find out which episode we have seen or not depending on exactly who we are. We also have screens, but I won't dwell on it too much because we will see those in other tutorials especially in the complete guide and in the trainings like Volta Blog, for example. But just to make it short, the screens are what will allow us to manage the different pages of our application. We'll have a login page, a home page, an episode page, and so on. All of these pages will be manipulated by the user and automatically handled by the account system. If I hit play to show you what it looks like, we immediately arrive on a page that looks like a login. It's not really a login because there's no notion of password and it's not secure, but it's close enough. Here, if I enter an email, for example, it will connect to my account and I'll be able to find the episodes I've already seen. So this is the example of an account that I've already created. And you can see that there are already two episodes that have been watched. But if I create a new account, we see that this time there's no episode that's been seen. To watch an episode, we simply click on any of the episodes that we're interested in, and once on it, we can also see all of the episodes of this category. Once we have watched an episode, we just have to click on Finish, and then a little V appears here to say that we've already seen it. We can do this on all of the episodes in a simple way. If you click on the logo here, you'll go back to the home page, and you'll see that your episodes have been completed. And that's the basic principle of this template. Now we're going to go into a little more detail on how it works. First, you have a login page. It will check if the user already exists when you use the login button. If the user doesn't exist, we will create it. And if it does, we will collect its information and then we will change the screen to go to the home page. This is simply what happens when you log in. And obviously, if you're already logged in, you'll be redirected to the home page, depending on whether or not you are already logged in. This is a logic that we've already done together, and I'm not going to spend too much time because you'll see it in some of our other videos and our more complete guides. As for our home page that you saw earlier, it is composed of two lists, a list of categories, and then for each category, a list of episodes that you can view. The episode simply leads to the current episode. So if you go to the variables, you will see that we have a lot of small variables, and especially on the data where we will have the episodes sorted by category. We'll have an episode index and category index field, so that when we click on a particular episode, we can easily retrieve current category or current episode, meaning the episode that we want to display. This will allow us to navigate around so we can go to the previous episode, the next episode, etc. It's also why we use indexes. It's retrieved from Airtable here. We make a query on the category table, and then we retrieve all of the rows that we're going to associate with our category by episode field. The user management is already done by the login, as I said earlier. And it's relatively simple. If you go to the database in question, you can see that we have a users table, which corresponds to the users, a categories table, which corresponds to the categories, and an episodes table, which corresponds to the episodes. The episode table is actually the simplest. And in fact, each time we just have the episode with its name, its ID to identify it, its video file, the email, its description, and its category. If I go to categories, 
I'll see the list of episodes to which it's linked, so if I add episodes in there, they will be added into that category, and same for the others. It's quite useful to have this link between the two tables because it allows us to easily organize our episodes. And finally, the last thing we have on an episode is a list of users, and it simply shows the users who have clicked on finished because they have seen the episode. In a mirror way in users, we have the list of episodes they are connected to. This allows us, if I go back to the code here, to identify which episode a user has seen or not seen and display it based on that. So to show you this, we're going to go to the Done button that allows you to validate that an exercise has been completed. This is the Done button here. We have a line that is created in the Airtable user table where we add the episode that has been watched. We then take the list of episodes and we add the email of the user in question and we go to the next episode. Then, next and previous are what will update episode index and potentially category index if we change categories. This will allow the engines to update according to whether the category where the episode changes, it will update which episode you want to view within the episode view. So that's about it. If you want to change the project, you can just change the Airtable and update it by refreshing and updating the box. And here you have the basics to use the Vault Academy very easily. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you join us for more of our template videos.